there is some other problems that involve meeting new people and that's why I don't like uh, to meet new people uh, the main reason that I don't like to meet new people is because I don't like people actually but that's a problem for uh, my new book uh, you think that I need a psychologist but it's, that's not true and I'm not gonna give away my shit to a psychologist when I can put it in a book and maybe make some money out of that um, yes we have a big problem we had to adapt it to this new person who wants us to get rid of our favorite t-shirt yes the one who said University of Los Caldos or University of San Manuela uh, and she's gonna uh, make us watch the diet which would have worked out perfectly for me but I don't want to admit it uh, she doesn't like our friends uh, that's a huge problem I don't like my friends imagine my uh, new girlfriend she's not gonna like him either and that's a conflict because you had to work your way up to uh, reason with this uh, new woman and sadly you gotta say your friends are magnificent your friend Marta the one who is 199 pounds and she uh, her height is uh, 4'2 uh, she looks great I think she like, looks great in pink and you gotta say your mom your mom is a beautiful lady even though she gives me the looks every time we meet and she called me by your ex's name Marcus I hope it's not Marcus because Marcus sounds black and this is gonna be like very racist for me but I can feel a uh, black guy's shoes um, and how about her dad her dad you wanna want him not to be a uh, army guy you, you can't compete with an army guy and uh, I'm getting hungry now so I think I'm gonna make it a stop and I'm gonna call my friend Joey if he wanna meet me for lunch so uh, I can keep criticizing people over uh, some pasta and a great Chianti yeah, well, but I remember when we met that you got surprised that you said, well, it's a bunch of money. And I didn't know how the budget worked because I never worked with budget. I mean, I was always, or either the writer or the actor, that said. But then when people start saying, hey, we did it with a thousand bucks, or we did that with a thousand dollars, or a 30 minute short for some festivals, like the one you want to do with the Las Golpeadas and Villosas. I said, we did it for 500 bucks, you know, stuff like that, that surprised me. Yeah, the, thing, the funny thing is, like, on your end, you didn't know anything, because when I talk to you, you have no idea that that was the second episode. Well, I read the first episode, like, what the hell were we reading? Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell is this coming from? What happened to the first episode? Is it magic? <laughs> yeah, and that's something that is very bad to do. I mean, you gotta show the first episode. That's, that's why it's called the pilot. Right? Okay, let's go back to, uh, first of all, this guy. How the hell did this guy contact you? Did he you say, yeah, I didn't know how it was, but I started reading my emails. So I did John Bodanat long ago. I'm talking about like when we met at that time in uh, Backstage or Great List. No, Backstage is the thing. Casting one. Backpage, Backpage. Like backstage, it's, 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 yeah, no, no, but Backpage is like Craigslist. Oh, you yeah. okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's another website. So it looks like uh, he contacted John or something like that, and John uh, told him, like, after a couple of months to contact me. So I didn't know where it was coming from. But in my mind, he, the guy said that he liked those kind of movies, like uh, Police Academy and stuff like that. And I thought, well, maybe he can bring back the No Free Rice project. He's talented. You don't laugh, but poor guy. <laughs> we gotta show this on camera. This is the script we got. This is the script. 
and a piece of paper. <laughs> okay. For the record. So, but I can. He was saying, uh, I showed him the script like this, the professional script, right? Yeah. Exhibit two. Professional, <laughs> professional script. That's how it's script. supposed to look. Exactly. <laughs> Here, Joy said, how is it supposed to look? And he's like, I don't believe in that. And I was like, you don't believe in the script? It's not about God or the devil, <laughs> like you can't believe or not. This is how producers want the script. And he's like, yeah, but I have all my ideas here, he said. I said, well, you got to put it in paper and come back to us. I'll show that to Joey. Cool. Thinking in Nofi Rides, because that can, could be the kind of comedy, you know. So like, you can take it to him or yeah, Yes, but no, no, he came to, to my house when John was there. That's why oh, I made the connection. Okay, I was trying to figure out, okay. Right, that day, when was it? Sunday or Monday, Monday. So then I understood. He's coming from the ad that John put in some crappy web page, back page or something like that. So like a couple of days after, I said, let me um, talk to Joey about this. I'm going to talk to him tonight, and uh, then you guys can discuss uh, what he wants. So he called you or he texts you? He texts me. Okay, you have no idea. Yeah, that's what I said. Where the hell did this come from? Right. Uh, but then a couple of days later, he said, I'm going to leave something at your house. So he came to my house, I didn't find anything. He put it in the mailbox, which is a federal offense. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> this book, like this, in my mailbox. So I didn't know what it was, but it looks like that's the screenplay with these uh, drawings. It must be me, right? <laughs> and this like looks like John. That looks like me after I'm upset. Does that you?